Hello everyone, uh, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 33. So here we need to write uh, this algebraic expression into the simplified form but you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. This means that we need to show all of the working on this paper. So we solve this problem for two methods. Uh, I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So here first we move towards our first method. And, and now here in the first method, uh, we need to focus on the exponents of these two terms and it will be written as this is 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by this is 3 to the power of 33 and we write this 33 as 22 plus 11 and now here further in the next step uh, we use here this nice exponent law you know about that if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So according to this exponent law, uh, here we need to break these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. And now you see here the exponents of these two terms are same. Uh, so uh, here uh, we use another exponent law and we combine these exponents. So here we use this law if you have a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m is equals to a multiplied by b and its whole power is m. So according to this rule. Uh, we combine these exponents and it will be written as 2 multiplied by 3 and its exponent is 22 and it is multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. And now here further you see that this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. And now here in the next step uh, we need uh, to break this uh, exponent and this is 22 it will be written as 2 multiplied by 11 we know that 2 times of 11 becomes 22 and it is multiplied by 3 to the power of 11 and now further in the next step uh, we uh, again use here another exponent law you know about that if we have a to the power of m multiplied by n is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n. So according to this exponent law, we move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as in this form. Uh, so we have this is 6 squared and its whole power is 11 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. And now here in the next step, uh, you see here 6 square becomes 36 to the power of 11 multiplied by 3 to the power of 11. And now here in the next step we need to uh, again combine uh, the exponents of these two terms. So when you combine the exponents it will be written as 36 multiplied by 3 and its whole power is 11. And now you see here 3 times of 6 becomes here 18 we write 8 and carry 1 so this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and 9 plus 1 becomes here 10 so we get here 108 and its whole exponent is 11 so this is the our uh, final simplified form of the given question statement and this is the final answer which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method. I hope so you like both of these methods. And now in second method, we need to copy down given question statement here. It is 2 to the power of 22 multiplied by 3 to the power of 33. So in second method, uh, we again break uh, these exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 11. 
and here you have 3 to the power of 33 it will be written as 3 multiplied by 11 and now uh, here we again use uh, this exponent law so again according to this exponent law we move this 2 inside the term it will become 2 square and its whole power is 11 multiplied by here we move this 3 inside the term it will become 3 cubed and its whole power is 11 and now further in the next step you see here this is 2 square and 2 square becomes 4 to the power of 11 this is 3 cubed and 3 cubed is equals to 27 to the power of 11 and now in the next step you again see here uh, the bases are different but its exponents are same and we know that when exponents are same but bases are different we use uh, this exponent law so according to this rule uh, we uh, just combine the exponents of these two terms and it will be written as 4 multiplied by 27 and its whole power is 11. So here our next target is to multiply these two numbers and you see here this is 4 times of 7 is equals to 28. We write 8 and carry 1 and this is 4 times of 2 becomes 8 uh, and uh, sorry this is 4 times of 7 28 we write 8 and carry 2 this is 4 times of 2 becomes 8 8 plus 2 becomes here 10 so this will becomes here 108 and its whole power is 11 so this is the our final answer which we get here from second method and from both of these methods we will get here the same answer so thank you so much uh, for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos